topic so before going to the topic let us first see what swift loan is now you already know what is swift loan right it is the india's most sincere learning destination for classes 1 to 10 so what do we get over here all the classes in swift loan are 100 percent live and interactive classes so over here you can ask any sort of doubts any confusion everything will be cleared and the teacher teach uh, teaches you in the live classes so that is more important right secondly we give personalized attention to each and every students in our batches because our batch consists of maximum six number of students and not more than that it also helps you as well as us to keep an eye or keep an attention to each and every students in our batches thirdly we have the very good dedicated academic mentor team who continuously track and work on the students progress so how you are performing in the class how you are doing the homework whether you are understanding everything or not whether you are performing great in the examination school examination as well as the uh, monthly test of swift learn or not everything is tracked and accordingly we give you the feedback so that you will be able to improve yourself right and fourthly which is very important that is we cover the syllabus as per our school examination schedule so whatever chapters you have in your school so you can tell it to us so we will do prepare you according to the school examination schedule we will do those chapters first and later on we will do the other chapters so we handle the custom requests like this hi anubhav how are you okay so we uh, handle this custom request according to your convenience right okay now let us find out what are the key features of swift learn so first of all we maintain a detailed progress report of each and every student so oh, in this progress report you will get to know that how you are scoring in each of the topics in which topic you are lagging in which topic you have to improve or you can say uh, how you are doing the homework how you are performing in the class everything is tracked and everything is given in this progress report so the and it is uh, it actually goes to you in certain intervals so that you will be able to understand where you are standing and how you need to improve right secondly we have the swiftlon academic test series which in short we call as the sats where you can perform you can do the test and you will be able to understand where you are standing thirdly which is very important that is practiced right so you can take unlimited practice test after completing each and every topic so that you will be able, able to understand that which topic you need more focus on and which topic is totally prepared for the school exam so that you can score full marks right and fourthly which is also important that is subjective test so uh, we have the subjective test which will help you for your school examination and you will be able to write down the um, answers according to the marks which is carried in uh, particular question and you will be able to understand how to write the answer what are the different keywords which need to put in uh, the answers as well as where to give the diagrams where to give the graphs and the equations everything right so our teachers will help you to give the tips how to improve your answer and how to score better and obviously how to get full marks right it is helpful for all the school exam as well as the board exam okay so these are our key features so to experience all of this you need to do what you already know you need to book a free trial class yes so please book a free trial class and experience all these features of swift learn so now what you have to do please subscribe our channel in youtube i know all of you most of you have already done this okay if not please subscribe it now and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update of our upcoming sessions right so please stay with swift learn like comment and share everything with your friends and family members okay now let us move on to the topic of discussion so today we will mainly discuss about the pollution of air and water so this is the second session we have already completed a lot in the first session where we already discussed about the air pollution right we have firstly discussed about the 
environment secondly what is the composition of the air thirdly we discussed the air pollution in the previous session right so what are the different causes of air pollution what are the different effects of air pollution so in today's session also we will discuss more about the air and the atmosphere as well as the surrounding what are the different changes which are occurring in our surrounding right and we will be able to understand what wrong is going on in the environment and how to prevent our environment not only for the usefulness of ourselves for the importance or for the usefulness of all the living and non living things which are present in the environment so all together all the living and non living things who are present in our ecosystem together they make the environment beautiful right yes do you agree with me okay chalo so let us see what is greenhouse effect today so first before going to the greenhouse effect we will first understand what is greenhouse actually and then we will go to the greenhouse effect then we will study about what are the different greenhouse gases which are actually giving such effect in our environment right then we will study about the global warming you have heard a lot about the global warming i am very much sure that it is creating a lot of situation that uh, a huge change in our environment right and that is degrading right so we will study the global warming and what are the different harmful effects of the global warming as well as finally we will study what are the different steps we can take to reduce this air pollution and to reduce all these harmful effects on our environment clear eh? okay so let us start chalo so let's first find out what is the main purpose of the sun what is the need of the sun in our environment or uh, what is the effect of the sun uh, which is rising every day during the daytime uh, which create the different effects in the both plants animals and the living or, um, and the total atmosphere do you have any idea how the sun's heat and light actually support our life it is very much responsible for the supporting of all the life forms on the earth can you tell me any one of them yes so first of all i would like to say that it is uh, creating a large effect on the plants right so the plants actually takes up the radiation of the sun and they can photosynthesize so they need to make the food for themselves as well as all the living organisms which are present on the earth right so the sunlight is very much important for the process of photosynthesis secondly what we get from the sun, uh, sun is that to the exposure of the sun every day we can synthesize vitamin d in our skin right so this is another effect of the sun and what is the effect of the sun in the environment yes so we know that the atmosphere is a blanket of the layer Uh, acts as a blanket on the whole earth surface right so there are various gases which are present on the atmosphere so when the sun's rays fall on the earth's atmosphere some of the rays are trapped by the atmospheric gases which will help the atmosphere to keep warm and maintain a constant temperature on the earth surface which actually help us to support all the different life forms and this constant temperature will help us to survive properly to help our like daily activities to do properly other than that if there is no sun at all then the temperature of the earth would go like below minus 18 degree or 20 degree each and every night right so that is not supportive to the life forms right so that is why the sun has a great effect on the supporting of the life on the earth so now can you tell me like uh, how the sun's rays warm the earth surface we already know that the sun's rays falls on the earth surface and it keeps the whole atmosphere or the whole surface of the earth warm right and it helps to maintain a constant temperature but how yes anybody okay so it actually uh, the most of the sun's rays are actually absorbed by the earth okay it is absorbed by the earth surface and part of them reflects back 
Now, while reflecting back of most of the radiation of the sun, some of them are absorbed by the different gases which are present in the atmosphere. Okay, most of the uh, sun's radiation are trapped or absorbed by most of the gases which are present in the Earth's atmosphere. And this trapping of this radiation help to keep the Earth warm. Fine? Okay. Now, the same thing happens we can also see in the different nurseries, right? Which actually uh, create a certain effect which we call as the greenhouse effect. So, before going to the greenhouse effect, let us first find out what greenhouse is, right? So, do you have any idea what is greenhouse? Yes. So, can you see this picture? Yes, this is the greenhouse. Okay. So, the greenhouse is a house which is made up of the transparent material like the glass. Okay. Where the sun's rays can fall and get inside it and keep the environment warm within the greenhouse. Right. So, what, there are the different types of crops which are growing within the greenhouse. It can be any sort of crops, mainly the tropical crops. The different fruits, vegetables and the tropical flowers are grown in the greenhouse which help them to grow properly. There is a proper ventilation system is also there which will continuously circulate the fresh air and it will help the crops to grow properly. Fine. So, this greenhouse during the daytime, they take the heat of the sun, right? And help to grow the different plants which are growing in the different nurseries, right? So, as this is totally transparent in nature, they help to trap the sun's radiation and keep the environment warmer. So, why do you think that some of the plants are grown like this in a closed uh, vessel or a closed house that is the greenhouse? Any idea? Why not in the forest or why not in the garden? Yes, because to maintain a proper temperature and a constant temperature, right? So, within the greenhouse, there is a proper temperature which is maintained even if very extreme cold situations, okay? So, uh, it actually prevents all the crops from crops, fruits, vegetables, you can see uh, any tropical flowering plants, okay? So, it can, this greenhouse actually prevents them from the scorching heat of the sun or the extreme cold during the winter season as well as they prevent them from the attack of any pests. Right? So, the paste will not be able to enter inside that also because it is totally closed. Now, let us find out what actually happened within this greenhouse. So, in this glass house, they trap the sun's heat during the daytime, but they do not allow any heat to go out of it. Right? So, the trapping of the heat uh, of the sun during the daytime help to keep the glass house or the greenhouse totally warm during the day. Now, it stays warm inside when it is totally winter season also. So, outside the climate or the weather can be very chilled cold, but inside the greenhouse, the weather or the atmosphere will be or we can say the air will be warm air. Right. So, during the daytime, the sh uh, sunlight shines and uh, it is trapped. The heat of the sun is trapped by the different gases which are present in the uh, greenhouse. It enters within the greenhouse, but it cannot go out. And that helps to keep the temperature warm or temp temperature high within the greenhouse even at the night time when it is very cold outside. Right? So, this is the main benefit of the greenhouse which temperature will help the different plants to grow properly because we already know that the plants can grow properly or very fast in a particular temperature which we call as the optimum temperature. Right? Exactly. Chalo. So, let us now find out what is the greenhouse effect. So, the similar type of thing happens on the earth's surface also. So, the similar type of thing like the glass house was there in the greenhouse. They trap the sunlight but never allow the sun, uh, heat of the sun to go outside it. The similar type of thing happens in the earth's surface also. So, who is the uh, transparent layer on the earth's surface? 
the atmosphere, right? So the atmosphere acts as a blanket all over the Earth's surface, which have a lot of different types of gases, which help to trap the sun's radiation. Right, And this similar type of effect which is happening on the Earth's surface like the greenhouse due to the presence of the different gases which we specifically called as the greenhouse gases, this results in the greenhouse effect. And the effect which is happening all over the Earth is known as the greenhouse effect. Right. So if you get any question for two marks or three marks like what do you mean by greenhouse effect, I think you will be able to answer it. Right? So the trapping of the reflected radiation of the sun by the Earth's atmosphere is known as the greenhouse effect. So up to this much clear, I guess, you have already got an idea about what are greenhouse, uh, what are the main benefits of the greenhouse and what is the greenhouse effect happening on Earth's surface? Yes? Any question or any doubt you can ask me in the chat box, I will definitely clear all your doubts. Okay, Chalo. next let us find out what are the different gases which are present in the atmosphere which actually helps in this greenhouse effect. What are the different gases? These gases can be methane, nitrous oxide, uh, sometimes ozone, carbon dioxide very important and the different like uh, water vapor. So these are the gases which help to absorb or trap the sun's radiation. Over here you can see the different greenhouse gases which are trapping the heat of the sun and contribute in this greenhouse effect. So together they are known as the greenhouse gases. Okay, so if you again get one or two more question, what, uh, name some of the greenhouse gases, I guess you will be able to write it now, right? Okay, now let us move on to the different gases and their responsibilities or their roles in the greenhouse effect. So the most important role which is placed, uh, played by the gas is the carbon dioxide for this greenhouse effect. Okay, so excess of the carbon dioxide when it is present in the air, they used to trap more and more of the sun's heat and help the earth atmosphere to keep warm right and it is very much responsible for the greenhouse effect right now carbon dioxide is one of the component of the air we know that and the normal range of carbon dioxide in the air is always 0.03 percent to 0.04 percent but when it is exceeding that percentage or when it is increasing it can act as a pollutant or it can cause the air pollution right so excess of the carbon dioxide not only carbon dioxide i must say that excess of any gases in the atmosphere is not at all good for the health or not at all good for all the proper balance of the environment right so this carbon dioxide when it is increasing they are trapping more and more heat of the sun and it results in the increase in temperature on the earth's surface right so this process is crucial for our life we can say that because the greenhouse uh, gases are present in the atmosphere who are trapping the sun's heat and keep a constant temperature which is very much soothing for our survival in the earth but now it is becoming threatening why do you think that it is threatening yes because the greenhouse gases are increasing day by day in the atmosphere and the trapping of more and more sun's heat are resulting for that which results in increasing of the temperature of the earth's surface and this average temperature which increases in the atmosphere this gradual increasing of the tem temperature in the earth atmosphere results in the global warming right this condition is known as the global warming so carbon dioxide is continuously being released by all the different activities of the human being as well as certain natural phenomena also mainly due to the deforestation we can see that cutting down of the trees actually disbalance the oxygen and the carbon dioxide in nature right so the carbon dioxide is increasing during uh, due to this deforestation and it all results into this harmful effect that is the global warming up to this much clear i guess you have already got an idea about 
greenhouse, greenhouse gases, greenhouse effect and the global warming which is caused due to the presence of the more amount of greenhouse effects in uh, greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, right? Up to this much, any question you can ask me, you can write it in the chat box. I'll definitely answer your questions. Okay, now let us find out what are the different effects of global warming, right? We already got an idea what is global warming. That is the increasing of the average temperature of the Earth's surface, right? In the Earth's atmosphere. Okay, so what can be the different effects of the global warming? First of all, as the temperature is increasing, definitely the polar ice caps or the glaciers gets melting, right? It is melting down, okay? So, due to this melting down of the glaciers, there are various life forms which are present in the glaciers, which are also present in the polar region like the polar bear, seal or uh, penguins and all, their lives are also becoming threatened, right? They also will not be able to, they are not adjusted with this type of situation. You know? They are adapted to some different types of situation and that type of situation is not coming, it is degrading it, or we can see a huge change of the uh, temperature or the huge change of the environment is happening and that is why it affects their lives, right? They can go to, they can... Uh, give a ill effect on their reproduction as well as that will result to the extinction of the different species, right? So, first of all, this uh, global warming uh, results in the melting of the glaciers and the mel melting of the polar ice caps. Secondly, it increases the total temperature of the Earth's surface. So, due to the increasing of the total temperature of the Earth's surface, there is a total effect on the rainfall pattern, growth of the different crops, agricultural field, as well as the living forms of the, all the plants and animals, right? Exactly. So, due to the in excess uh, evaporation, we can say due to the warming of the temperature or increasing of the temperature in some places there is increased rainfall which can cause sometime flood and in some other places there is drought condition where there is no rainfall at all and there will be no uh, growth of any plants or crops at all so these are the different effects of the global warming and i have already mentioned that the extinctions of the species or the habitat loss of the species are also happening due to this global warming because the global warming results in the change in the temperature, increasing of the temperature which is contin uh, in total changing the atmospheric condition or the climatic condition of the earth which the different animals cannot adapt to it and they can come to the extinction. Right? So, these are the ill effects or the bad effects of the global warming. Clear eh? up to this much? Yes? Okay, now to reduce this global warming, our government um, has uh, shown a lot of concern and they have taken a lot of steps for reducing this global warming worldwide. So, the different steps which are taken by um, many countries to reduce this emission of the greenhouse gases in total, like uh, the emission of the carbon dioxide we can say or the nitrous oxide reducing the air pollution uh, so to do all these things many governments of the different countries had, uh, has uh, taken different steps so some of the steps are uh, as follows first of all it is advised to use the cleaner fuel like cng uh, which will create less pollution so we already know that the petrol and diesel are not the clear uh, cleaner fuel and they can cause a lot of smoke lot of air pollution right because uh, the car or the vehicles who run uh, due to this petrol and uh, diesel they create the pollution of the air which are mainly the oxides of nitrogen oxides of sulfur the lead okay as well as the carbon monoxide right we have already studied it in the previous session right so we should avoid the use of those fuel and we should switch on to the cleaner fuel like cng lpg and all 
right even in certain uh, places or uh, in certain countries the electric cars are advised and they run the electric cars which even cause less uh, pollution than the cng also right so these are the steps which are taken by the government and obviously that is the more important step which is taken by the government is advising the people around us or throughout the art to plant more and more trees so afforestation is very important afforestation or reforestation also we say so that we can again and again like plant more and more trees right this is very much important to maintain the balance of all the gases which are present in the atmosphere right now can you tell me how the trees help in reducing this uh, air pollution yes any idea we are already always uh, telling that deforestation is bad it is creating ill effect or harmful effects on the earth surface deforestation means cutting down of the trees right yes and afforestation helps to make the uh, balance of the atmosphere steady or it helps to create it helps to reduce the air pollution now how it is actually reducing the air pollution any idea yes okay we already know that during the process of photosynthesis the plant take in the carbon dioxide gas right mostly the carbon dioxide gas and they give out the oxygen so we already know that the oxygen is the by product of this process of photosynthesis so to take in the carbon dioxide and giving out the oxygen which we again take in during the process of breathing right so we take in the air which is rich in oxygen during breathing and give out the carbon dioxide so the plants are taking carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen during photosynthesis specifically during during photosynthesis only and during respiration and breathing we give out the carbon dioxide and take in the oxygen so these two gases this oxygen and carbon dioxide are always in balance in nature and that is why we need to plant more and more trees so that this balance of these two gases will be maintained in the atmosphere right so what is the main role of the trees to reduce the air pollution it can reduce the carbon dioxide from the air or because it takes the carbon dioxide during photosynthesis clear hai up to this much any question you can ask me no okay so van mahotsav is a uh, very nice occasion which is celebrated every year in the month of july where lakhs and lakhs of trees are planted in the certain region okay yes now we can take other other different steps which are also advised by the different governments that we can switch over to the renewable resources of energy right we already know that there are two main sources of energy one is the renewable and another one is the non renewable right what are the renewable sources of energy which how much uh, like we will use it it there is no limit right it is uh, it has a supply of unlimited sources of energy it will not completely used up or completely finished even if we use it uh, every day right so these are the energy which are known as the renewable sources of energy right but the non renewable energy are those which have certain limits and if we waste it or if we use it more and more so it, uh, uh, after certain years or after certain time it will be completely used up or completely finished right so we can switch on to the renewable sources of energy like the solar energy wind energy hydropower energy instead of using more and more non renewable energy like the fossil fuels like the coal and petroleum hai na exactly so this is also advised by the government of different uh, uh, countries so that we can reduce the pollution now there are certain different small contribution which we can do from our part in everyday life to reduce the pollution what we can do we can use the public vehicles right so to uh, other than using the private car or private vehicles which we can uh, 
do everyone so if there is 10 houses and 10 houses are having 10 cars and every day 10 cars are going out so obviously it will create more pollution in the air right but if all of them from the 10 uh, houses are just using the public vehicles like the metro bus and auto and all so obviously there will be less amount of smoke or air pollution um, the different harmful gases which will come out from the car henna so we can switch on to the uh, public vehicles secondly when while going to a very short distance nearby places in the relatives house or nearby to the school we can either walk or we can uh, prefer the bicycle right rather than using the car which can uh, emit the different smoke and create the air pollution so from our uh, side we can like contribute this type of things right we can prefer the bicycles hi Hi, maths is easy. Yeah, uh, water is the renewable resources. Okay, yes. But we know that it is a huge amount, but most of the water, you already know it is present in the ocean and sea or the salty water, we can say, which we cannot use that much, right? We can only depend on the fresh water for the daily activities. So if you think about the fresh water, it has some limit, right? Okay, now the third thing. So third uh, contribution which we can do from our part is the carpooling, right? So what is carpooling? Like you can take some of your uh, neighbors uh, or some of the family members and you can just drop them in the nearby locality so that they will not uh, come up with their vehicles also, right? Their cars also. So this carpooling can be also done to reduce the air pollution so there will be less smoke will which will come out in the air if we maintain these sort of things to reduce the air pollution right so these are the different things which are very easy but we can do from our part so that we can keep our environment clean henna so always keep it in mind right okay now can you tell me uh, this filling the blanks that excess of dash in the air is one of the gases which are mainly responsible for the greenhouse greenhouse effect which is the main gas over here which is very much responsible for the greenhouse effect yes let me see who can give me the correct answer yes okay it is the carbon dioxide right Yes, carbon dioxide is the main greenhouse gas, which is uh, greenhouse greenhouse gas, which is responsible for the greenhouse effect. Okay, now have you ever seen this type of situation? Whoever stay in Delhi or any cities, this type of pollution in the air, yeah. So a few years ago, we can see, uh, we can uh, we found that Delhi was one of the most polluted cities in the world, and it was being choked by the fumes which are released from the automobiles, which are mainly running uh, on petrol and diesel, right? And it created this type of atmosphere where we could not see the uh, blue sky at all, and everything was totally brownish and total smoke, fog, smog was happening during the winter season, mainly just after the Diwali, this type of situation is faced in Delhi, right? So that is why after that, it is advised by the government to switch on to the different fuels like CNG and unleaded petrol, which can uh, which are the cleaner fuel we can say which can cause the less amount of air pollution right okay now let us uh, find out what is the answer of this question let me see who can give me the correct answer what is the main effect or what is the main causes of the global warming what are the main causes of the global warming yes have you ever thought of it yeah the main cause of the global warming is the increase of the carbon dioxide in the earth's atmosphere and it is happening due to the deforestation right now we will move on to the two main effect on the earth's surface 
which is creating the air pollution that is deforestation and ozone layer depletion so do you have any idea what is deforestation and what is ozone layer depletion we have already uh, spoken a lot about the depletion of the ozone layer ozone hole in the previous session also right so what do you mean by this uh, deforestation and depletion of the ozone layer yes okay so deforestation means a large scale of cutting down of the trees in a particular region right and ozone layer depletion yes what is the ozone layer yes it is the layer which is present in the earth's stratosphere right so already you know that there are the different layers of the atmosphere which is covering the earth's surface so the lowest layer is the troposphere and just above it is the stratosphere so within the stratosphere there is a very thin layer which is made up of ozone so it is made up of ozone which we call uh, which uh, formula is o3 which actually prevents the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun to come to the earth's surface right so what is the main role of the ozone layer it covers the earth's surface and prevent us from the dangerous ultraviolet rays of the sun to reach on the earth's surface but nowadays due to the different gases which are present in the earth's surface mainly cfc chlorofluorocarbon carbon dioxide okay so the ozone layer is becoming thin and thin and in particular region it becomes the hole and for the creation of those hole which we call as the ozone hole the radiation the harmful radiation of the sun directly comes on the earth surface and they are creating a lot of ill effects on our health like the skin cancer various skin diseases cataract okay so these are the different types of ill effects which are caused due to the ozone layer depletion right because the harmful rays are coming directly on the earth surface can you see over here how the ozone layer depletion is taking so this is the whole ozone layer so due to the different fumes which are coming from the factories and industries as well as from the vehicles so they are containing the different types of gases mainly the cfc which comes out from the refrigerator ac and all and they are thinning down the layer of the ozone and creating the ozone hole right and this ozone hole allows the uv radiation that is the very harmful radiation of the sun to directly come on the earth surface and they are creating a lot of effects on our health right now can you tell me what uh, if you were asked any question like define deforestation and define ozone layer depletion what will be the answer yes how will you define this deforestation and ozone depletion yes we already know that the deforestation is the full or the large scale removal of the forest or the area of the trees in order to clear the land for the development of our lives right for the making of the country uh, for the making of the factories for the making of the industries or we can say roadways waterways right highways Hena. so this condition is known as the deforestation this process of cutting down of the trees in large scale and what do you mean by the ozone layer depletion it is the thinning of the ozone layer in the earth's stratosphere which can be caused due to various types of chemical compounds like cfc methane carbon dioxide and so on right understood i guess if you have any question you can please ask me in the chat box so this is all about what we have discussed in today's session now let us quickly discuss some of the question answers right so what we have already discussed in today's session we have studied about the greenhouse what are the greenhouse effects then we have studied about the global warming then finally we studied about the deforestation and ozone layer depletion right now can you tell me this answer what is the greenhouse effect and can you name some of the greenhouse gases yes so already we know that the greenhouse effect of the earth's atmosphere is created by the absorption of the sun's radiation by the different greenhouse gases which will keep our, our 
constant temperature all over the earth's surface right so what are the different greenhouse gases it can be methane carbon dioxide water vapor and nitrous oxide right now can you tell me what is global warming yes anybody in the chat box okay so global warming is the condition where the temperature of the earth's atmosphere is increasing day by day right so it is the average increase of the earth's atmosphere increase of the temperature of the earth's atmosphere which we call as the global warming right is it has a lot of harmful effects on the environment right okay now let us find out some of the facts about this greenhouse effect and the global warming first of all without some greenhouse gases and the greenhouse effect the earth's temperature would be very less like already i have said that it can be minus 18 to 20 degree centigrade also if there is no greenhouse uh, gases present in the earth's atmosphere so they help to maintain a constant temperature on the earth's surface right secondly the cattle they produce the methane by you uh, with the help of the different bacteria in their stomach and that is why the stomach they have the different chambers in the stomach one of the chamber is the rumen they do it by the fermentation of the cellulose whatever they eat from the plant right so that is why these cattle are also known as the ruminant animals fine so methane is produced by them okay and it can sometimes used to make the biogases okay and what is the third thing yes the plants have the ability to fix nitrogen we know that there are the different bacteria which are present in the soil which fix the nitrogen and gives the nutrient back to the soil so that it can increase the fertility of the soil and it will help the plants to grow properly right it can be converted in the useful form where the plants will be able to use them properly and the human obtain this nitrogen by eating the different plant products right so we are all dependent upon each other in the atmosphere or in the environment so for maintaining of all the life form we should maintain the proper balance of each and every gases in our atmosphere right so let us find out what we have already studied in today's session first of all we have studied about the greenhouse yes secondly we studied about the greenhouse effects and the harmful effects of the greenhouse on our, the earth surface nowadays then we have studied about the different names of the greenhouse gases then we have studied about the global warming and the different effects of global warming and finally we studied about the different steps which we can take to reduce this air pollution right so this is all about today's session i guess you have understood everything right so if you have any question you can ask me in the chat box so thank you for being with us for being with swiflearn and studying with us learning with us so stay like this uh, all the time so let me remind you what you have to do again is please subscribe our channel in youtube press the bell icon and never miss any update of the upcoming sessions right so stay with swiflearn like comment and share with all your friends and family members so we will again uh, meet in another session okay with a new topic okay uh, mainly we will discuss about the water pollution in that session so till then bye bye 